Hey guys, hey. Quick uh, health update. Uh, went to the dermatologist today. I had two appointments today. Dermatologist and pick up my sleep study device. Um, oh, this shit's still going. Sorry. Oh gosh. I can't wait to do some uh, self care this weekend. Weekend off, anniversary weekend. I uh, just can't wait for the weekend. So I went to the dermatologist and, um, I wound up getting a biopsy done because at my dermatologist's office, uh, they also do lupus studies. And it's like, you want to participate? And I'm like, okay, blah, blah, blah. And I put it this time around after my appointment, uh, they wanted to do a biopsy of my lupus affected area, which is this. Yep, that stitches. She don't want to hurt as she much she did earlier. She was she was pretty. You know, that was pretty painful after the Novocaine. Not Novocaine. Yeah, Novocaine wore off. Um, they numbed the area real good, and took something that I can only compare to an apple core. The ones you hold one hand and you kind of. Yeah, and that, they did that really small though like I, um smaller than like the smaller than the end of a pen yeah smaller than the end of a pen in circumference um but had little teeth on it just like the little just well apple cores don't usually have the teeth this had little teeth so as i'm getting this done i can hear them like down so they could get there and now i swear to god it was like did you hit skull because it seems like i could hear this all through my ears but i hear it hurt really clearly and for them to pull a little little piece out about that big it was like oh gosh so i kind of had a hard time going to sleep like pop me 800 milligram of ibuprofen and I took my behind the bed because worked last night. My dermatologist uh, was at 11. I had originally set up that I go to the sleep apnea place that morning. And then after my dermatologist, I could go home. But they had to switch things up. <sighs> so I wound up spending two hours in the waiting room because I refused to go home just to come back up uh, another hour ride just to come back up to the dermatologist's office and I'm like a half an hour away from the site here so uh yeah a sister was tired I think I got in the house a little after two o'clock I think I went to sleep after four o'clock and I'm back at it right now Got to go home, do a little shopping. When, tomorrow morning, go home, do a little bit of shopping on my way home. Do the sleep study thing when I go to get my nap. Look at this. I look bad. I need to rest. Um, knock that out. Get that out the way. And then I can enjoy my weekend. Ugh. Then I got to return to join home on Monday morning. Oh, gosh. Well, yeah. It is what it is. Just get your health in order, you know. We got to get things together, you know. Yeah. That's about it. There's nothing else to report on. We still got to wait to the end of the month for the uh, biopsy for the gynecologist, the cervical and the endo, blah, blah. And, um, yeah, everything else that I post is probably going to be food and randomness. So I just recorded a video last night and tonight that I have to edit that I need answers on. I literally need answers, but I digress. I'll post that later. Um, I might post something tonight. No, I just posted. 
I'll post it sometime uh, this weekend. I'll schedule it. Because I'm not doing nothing this weekend. I hope you all enjoy y'all weekend. I thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you, if you like this content and want more information or want to follow my journey, I appreciate you all. Have a safe, blessed, and healthy weekend. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> Night shift, you know? It's time for me to go to bed. So... I have to set up my at-home sleep study device, and I guess I want to take you along for the ride. So stay tuned. I got the chills. So underneath my pits, I have the straps that was pre-adjusted yesterday for desired uh, tightness. Uh, to hold this depart this device about right here, at Cinemas, Cinemas. So yeah, I gotta keep putting this phone down. All right, pause. Let me see if I can do it this way. So I click the one side in. Oh gosh, I click the one side in, and click the other side in. Oh, it's lighting up. Look. It lets you know it's engaged and ready to go. Uh, next step. Next step. I hope my um, the audio wasn't too drowned out. It's sitting on my pillow. I was told to put it on my non-dominant hand. So. We're here. No. We are here, over. I was told to tape it here, and like on the palm, so it doesn't get entangled in the uh, sleep process uh, with tossing and turning. So I'll be back. All right, I am now connected via my chest and my pulse ox. And this is what it looks like now. There we go. So the green shows that my finger is good. The chest joint is good. The next one is the uh, breathing apparatus. And, and that's next. Okay. So the way that the, the thing goes is that's going to be annoying. Oh, it's always annoying, but it is. This is less intrusive than being in the, the sleep center to do a sleep study. So you sit to tighten it up around the chin, and a little piece of tape. Hey, y'all, my mirror. There you go. Little. Oh God. Eh. Eh. I guess that's okay. That's it's way too much tape. Next part is a little bit smaller. A bit smaller, okay. How about this? A little better. High fashion. Oh, and it's all green now. As you can see, it's all green. It's all ready to go. It's picking up on my nose, my breathing. I'm anchored down. In the viable places, and um, I guess it's time to try to go to sleep. So, I guess I could finish this off later when I actually wake up. I don't think I'm gonna get a whole eight because I just know how I am, but um, I'm gonna get them as many hours as possible. That's just it. <laughs> a whole mess. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Bye.